if you want to play a sound in your shortcuts. You might look on Google and you won't find an answer because people make it too difficult. It's actually very easy and in this video I'm going to explain how to do it. The first thing that you need is you need the file inside the files, right? You need the file inside the file. Then you have to go to shortcuts and you have to select the file first because the shortcut first needs to know that the file is there. So you, you go to your file, click on file, then you select the file. Then you have the file inside the shortcut. Then all you have to do is you have to go to play sound and then select file. So maybe it shows up like this. You have to do choose variable and click on file. And now the file plays. This is the most basic way to do it. You can also record your own sounds. Um, all you have to do is go to your voice recorder and just record a sound, save it in your files and do the same thing. Right, there's also another method for if this doesn't work. I'm, I'm not sure why it wouldn't, but um, maybe this is handy. So um, click off if you don't want to, if this is all right, if this works. Um, if you want to know the other way, I'm going to demonstrate it by first recording a sound and then using the other method. So stick around. All right, so I'm in my voice recorder. Uh, now let's just record a sound. Yo, you gotta subscribe or else you're not nice. This video doesn't cost anything. It doesn't have a price. Hey, my head is clean. I ain't got no lies. Hey, I don't watch news and I don't like files. Okay, what you have to do is you have to save it. So click on the three dots and click on save to files. Then you can just save it right here. Then go to shortcuts. And what you have to do is you have to get the base64 encoded string. I'm not going to go into details what that is exactly, but I'm going to share this shortcut in the description. What you basically have to do is you have to go to your shortcuts right here. And uh, I'm going to give you the link so you can download this. But right here you see code and decode. Here you see code, and here you see decode. What you have to do is you have to click on code. Then you have to select um, the, uh, the file. So here, new recording. Then what you, you, have to, you have a string copied inside your clipboard, meaning that now if you paste, you'll see a big string of text. What you can do is you can go to shortcuts, and this might seem very confusing, but it will all make sense. Then you have to click on text, paste the text, and this is the entire string. What this is, is this is the entire sound file basically encoded in, 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 in string. And the way to decode this to a sound file is to uh, select this, this thing right here. It's base64 uh, encode. Oh but then select decode because we already encoded it. And what this does is this basically decodes the string to um, uh, base64, uh, which can be played in the same way that we played the file with play sound, as you can see right here. Now, let me just, well, does it matter? I don't think it does, no, it doesn't. All right. Yo, you gotta subscribe or else you're not nice. This video doesn't cost anything. It doesn't have a price. Hey, my head is clean. I ain't got no lies. Hey, I don't watch news and I don't like flies. Delay made it even worse. Well, thank you for watching. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe.